हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द क्लास ऑफ कॉमर्स आई एस सी क्लास ट्वेल्थ चैप्टर नंबर थ्री सोर्सेज ऑफ फाइनेंस फॉर ज्वाइंट स्टॉक कंपनी इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी स्टार्टेड द टॉपिक डिवेंचर्स एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू कंप्लीट द रिमेनिंग पोर्शन सो विल स्टार्ट विद द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ इशूइंग डिवेंचर्स सो दे आर एडवांटेजेस टू द डिवेंचर होल्डर्स एंड एडवांटेजेस टू द कंपनी फर्स्ट विल स्टडी द एडवांटेजेस टू द डिवेंचर होल्डर्स फर्स्ट वन इज अपील टू कॉशियस इन्वेस्टर्स सी आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट दे आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इन्वेस्टर्स सम आर रेडी टू टेक रिस्क सम आर ऑफ कॉशियस नेचर कंजर्वेटिव नेचर सो डिवेंचर्स मेक्स अपील टू ऑर्थोडॉक्स और कॉशियस इन्वेस्टर्स टू इन्वेस्ट सो इट्स अ great source of finance through the investment made by the debenture holders they get fixed rate of interest and there is no risk okay so it makes appeal to cautious investor then regular return as i told you whether there are profit or not to the company but the debenture holder will get their interest regularly is this clear so it's very safe earning for the debenture holders then safety on investment as i told you debentures are usually secured yes or no they are mortgage assets are pledged for the issue of debentures and debentures are having either fixed or floating charges so the debenture holders are assured of getting back their amount invested in the company in the form of debentures is this point clear to you now what are its advantage from the view point of the company first one is economical source sir how it is economical source even when there are fixed rate of interest see my dear students when the company issues debenture it appeals to cautious investors and there is no need to make payment to the underwriters making more payment in the form of brok uh, brokerage okay and other legal expenses are less as compared to the issue of shares that's why it is economical source then freedom of management debenture holders are the creditor of the company they are not the owner of the company so they don't interfere in the decision making of the company so management work freely because there is no interference from the debenture holders then the next advantage is trading on equity see interest on debentures are pay, paid at a fixed rate and the remaining profit is given as, as dividend to the equity shareholders so when there is an increase in the earning or increase in the profit of the company uh, the uh, the shareholder gets more dividends isn't it so there is more trading on equity now the next point is flexibility so whenever the company are having sufficient earning they can repay the debt they can repay the debenture holders they can say bye bye uh, as by paying their principal sum and the interest is this clear so there is a flexibility then moreover there is no fear of over capitalization because at a certain period of time the debentures holders are repaid then tax relief if you remember i have explained this point and moreover we are going to do questions and ratio analysis regarding to that see the interest which is paid to the debenture holders are allowed as a deduction uh, from the tax liability is this clear so the there is saving in tax liability is this point clear to you now disadvantages of debentures 
from the viewpoint of company permanent burden of interest as i told you uh, every time we have to pay the interest okay regularly whether there is sufficient profit or not so it's a permanent uh, bur burden on the uh, company of uh, making the interest because if interest is not paid then the debenture holders may ask for the winding up of the company then reduction in credit standing see the credit na credit worthiness of the company is low when they are issuing debentures because it becomes difficult to borrow funds from outside source because they will say you have already issued debentures then what about our return isn't it if you are already in debt then the other financial institution will hesitate in giving loan is this point clear to you and charge on asset there is a fixed or floating charge on asset if the amount is not paid on time amount of interest is not paid on time when there is no uh, profit then the debenture holders may ask for the winding up of the company is this clear moreover they can ask to sell our asset to recover their money as our assets are less so it becomes very difficult for the company okay then reduction in dividend see if there is no profit then only we have to pay interest on the debentures so if there is low profit then when we make the payment of interest then there is very low earning available for the shareholders so it will be very difficult for the company to pay the dividends and in that case the market value of the share may go down okay then from the view point of the debentures debenture holder what are the disadvantages in rights they cannot interfere in the working of the company isn't it debenture holders they don't have any voting right then high unit price usually when the debenture are issued it carries a higher face value which may be difficult for the small investor to make a investment or to purchase a debentures then an attractive the, see they are as i told you they are risk taking investors so debentures does not attract to the investor who wants high return on their investment see in the shares the value of the investment may improve or increase many folds but not in case of debentures so it don't attract the investors of risk taking nature this point clear to you so these are the advantages and disadvantages of debentures i hope the entire topic of debentures is clear to you make a reading from your textbook and ask doubts and attempt the questions which are given in the exercise okay students bye take care